In this question, we're given a table that represents the amount of money that Maddie spent attending this many fitness classes. And given this information, we're asked to figure out, well, what was her sign-up fee, extrapolate back, and then determine if this is a partial variation or a direct variation relationship. Now, there are a number of ways to solve this, and you know what, I'm going to look at three ways, and we'll start with probably the easiest way first, and then I'll show you a couple of other ways just if you're interested. The first thing to do would be to figure out an equation for this relationship. So we know that the total cost C is equal to uh, the sign-up fee, which I'll call F, plus the cost per class, which I'll call, let's say, V for visit, times the number of classes that Maddie attends. Now when we look at this graph, we can actually see that it's in the form y equals mx plus b, which means it's a linear relationship here. c is uh, y, f is the y-intercept, or b, v is the slope, m, and n would be the x value uh, of, the, of the straight line. Now that we know it's a straight line, let's go over to our table of values here, our chart, and we can see that the difference in the n values going up is 2, and the difference in the y values, or the c values here, is 7. That means v, which represents the slope, if you like, is the change in the, the c values, or the y values, divided by the change in the n values, or x values. So v equals 7 over 2, which is 3.5. This means that Maddie is paying three and a half dollars every time she goes to fitness class. And we can substitute this value for V into the original equation. So our equation then becomes C equals F plus 3.5 N. And we're asked to find the sign-up fee, which is given by F. So we can substitute values for C and N into this equation and solve for F. And we can simply go over to our chart here, and we can see it doesn't matter which line we take. We take 12 and 67 in for n and c respectively, or we take this one in for n and c respectively. We'll, we'll get the same answer, or should. So let's try it. Okay, so let's take the uh, first line of the table here. So cost, if it was 67, would be f plus 3.5 times 12. Let me move over here a little bit so we have some room to solve this equation. And I'll just bring it up here. So I work this out. I get 67 equals F plus uh, 3.5 times 12 is 42. You want to isolate F, so I move 42 to the other side, and I get 67 minus 42 equals our F. So F is going to equal... 25. We could also uh, verify this answer by substituting the second line into the equation and seeing if it also gives us the same value. Let's do that. Let's uh, bring it back so it's 14 and 74. So we could have also done it this way. We could have said that if she spent $74, f plus 3.5 times 14. And this would give us 74 equals F. 3.5 times 14 is 49. Moving the 49 over to the other side, 74 minus 49 equals F. And again, F equals 25. We've verified the result here. Okay, so now we're fairly confident that we can move back and answer the questions here. So what is the sign-up fee? Well, the sign-up fee is $25. And is this relationship between N and C partial or direct variation? Well, it's partial variation because we have an F value, which means the line does not go through the origin. There is a starting value, and then from that starting value, uh, the relationship begins. Now, remember I said there were some other ways to solve this problem? Let's take a look at a couple. So let me come down and we'll look at a couple of alternate solutions to this problem. Okay, I've put back the table here so we can remember our values, and I've also rewritten the equation that we have. 
what I can do is I can substitute these values in for n and c into this equation, and I can do it twice so we end up with two equations. So we would have, I'll start with the bottom one first, we'd have 74 equals f plus v times 14, that would be equation 1, and then I could also say 67 equals f plus v times 12, that's equation number 2. So I've got two equations and I've got two unknowns, f and v here. So what I can do is I can actually subtract uh, equation number 2 from equation number 1. So if I did that, if I subtract these, I would end up with 7, f minus f is 0, and this would be 14 v's minus 12 v's would leave me with 2 v's. Solving for v, I divide both sides by 2, and I end up with 3.5 equals v. This is essentially what we did earlier when we just looked at the difference in the n column versus the c column. And then what we did is we divided um, by the cost by the number of visits to get the cost per visit. And that's exactly what um, v represents, the cost per visit here. Then I can substitute this value back into either one of the first two equations like we did above and see what we get for f. So again, if I just substitute here into equation number 1, I'll just call it substitute into equation 1, just pick that one, random. So we get 74 equals f plus 3.5 times 14. And just like we did above, that would be plus 49, moving it over to the other side. 74 minus 49 equals f, so f equals 25. Now there's another way to do it, so let's take a look at, now we'll just do one more alternate solution to this problem. In this solution, I'm just going to expand our table of values here so that we can work backwards and find out what happens as we get closer and closer to um, zero when she just starts at the beginning, which would be our sign-up fee. So let's work backwards. We know that the difference in the ends is 2 and the difference in the C column is 7 so I could go down this would be 10 here 8 6 4 2 and 0 and going backwards by 7 in the C column this would be 60 this would be 53 and then we would get 46 and 39 And then 32 and 25. And there we go. Aha, we can see when she hasn't even visited or had one fitness class, she's had to pay $25, the sign up fee. Now we could also graph this, like so. And this axis here is the n axis, and this axis is the c axis. And then we could say, okay, at zero, she's $25 paid here, put a dot there. Two is 32, so it's a little bit more up around there, etc. We could keep going here. And as we plotted all the points, we draw a nice smooth curve, or a nice straight line. I shouldn't say a smooth curve, I should say a straight line through them all. And there we go, we can see that the line crosses the C axis here at 25, which would be the initial sign up fee. And then she pays three and a half dollars all the way through every time she goes for a visit. And again, because the graph does not go through the origin here, it goes, starts, has a y-intercept above there or some value, then this is partial variation. And there you go. There's some solutions that could have been used to solve this problem.